Good afternoon and welcome to the Hawaiian Affairs hearing on um, some governor's messages for um, the Hawaiian Homes Commission and also the Island Burial Council. Um, I want to make some housekeeping announcements. Um, this meeting is being streamed live on YouTube and my Facebook page. In the unlikely event that we have to abruptly end this hearing due to technical difficulties, the committee will reconvene to discuss any outstanding business. Um, and that would be, let's see, today's the third Tuesday, oh no, I'm sorry, it would be Thursday, March 10th, uh, 1 p.m. in this room, room 16 and online, and a public notice will be posted. For testifiers participating remotely, your audio will be muted and video disabled until shortly before it is your turn to testify. Um, I'll be reading a list of individuals who submitted written testimony for each measure. We apologize if the closed caption doesn't accurately transcribe your name. If you're interested in reviewing the written testimony, please go to the legislature's website and there you'll find a link on the status page for the measure. Um, I'd like to introduce my committee members. It's myself, Miley Shimabukuro as chair, my vice chair is Senator Jared Keoho Kalole. We also have members, Senators Laura Acasio, Senator Leslie Hara, and Senator Kurt Favela. And so we're going to begin then with GM 577. This is, um, Submitting for consideration and confirmation to the Hawaiian Homes Commission, Gubernatorial nominee Pauline Namuo for a term to expire on June 30, 2026. And first we have DHHL in support. Aloha Chair, Shimabukoro, Vice Chair Kyokalole. Um, we have our testimony in strong support of Pauline Namuo, uh, continuing on as a commissioner uh, I, won't, I won't read that, but I will offer a few other comments. And that is um, our experience with Pauline um, has proven her to be a well thoughtful leader, a fully informed leader, um, and honest, um, and never, there's nothing ever to question her integrity. And I just wanna add that uh, we enjoy when she holds myself and the department uh, accountable for things. So we look forward to um, her confirmation and working with her for um, the next term. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Ayla. Um, Ahamoku Advisory Commission also uh, in support. I think they're here. Is Leimana oh, here? Yes. Hi. Okay. Thank you, Hello. Senator Shimabukuro. And aloha and aloha, aloha. Vice Chair Keohoka Olole. Um, Ahamoku stands with strong support for this nominee. And we stand on our testimony of working support and be, a real, be available for questions or comments if needed. Thank you. Thank you, Leimana. Laverne Moore, also in support, I think was going to be present. Hello. Aloha, Chair Aloha. and members of the committee, Laverne Fernandez Moore, speaking as an individual in strong support of GM 577, I stand on my written testimony which stated my advocacy journey with Pauline in the early 70s, speaking and standing for those who needed a voice and advocated to address their needs and services. Pauline continues this advocacy and love for our Native Hawaiian women as the president of Aha Hui Kahumanu, which my sisters and I are members. Pauline embeds the qualification and compassion as a strong Native Hawaiian woman who gives freely from the heart without compensation for the good of others. She's a grand mentor who shares her knowledge and enlightenment with those who will use it for the betterment of our society. Allow Pauline to con continue using her gifts, helping Native Hawaiians find safe and affordable housing as the promise made to the state in the early 1920s. Please pass GM 577. Mahalo for the opportunity to speak on behalf of my Native Hawaiian friend, Pauline, mahalo and aloha. Thanks so much, Ms. Moore. <laughs> Donnie Chong, also in support. Not present, Chair. Oh, okay. Um, Lani Kahalehao, support. Not present, Chair. Okay, and then also, also Ralph Kahalehao, 
support? Not also present. not present, yeah. Okay. These are all in support. There's some written testimonies. Read the names. Um, let's see. We have um, WHHA Incorporated, Alki Pacific LLC, Robert Hall support, um, Michelle Brown, Louise Alina, Lavina Agader, Oriana Leao, um, Leatris Burroughs Nuanu, Kaipo Nuuanu, Joby Masagatani, all in support. Is there anyone that I missed uh, for GM 577? Okay. Um, and then, and then actually, and Commissioner Nemo is also present, but members, did you have any present, any questions for the testifiers before we call up, um, Commissioner Nemo? Okay, hearing none, um, Commissioner Pauline Nemo, are you, you on the line? Yes. Hello there. Let me scroll over. Thank you so much for your, sir. Oh, there I see you. Thank you so much for yes. your ongoing service, Ms. Namuo. Um, yes, did you want to make any kind of statement or just take questions? I know you've already submitted, um, you know, if you look online members, if you click on the status links for each nominee, some have, there's resumes, there's some questionnaires also that they've answered that we can supply as well. So, um, so Ms. Namuo has that kind of information online. But did you want to make a statement, Ms. Namuo, or you want to just have questions? Um. Yes, I, I want to thank you and the committee for the opportunity to appear before you today. Um, and I humbly um, ask for your support to continue to serve. And I stand on my testimony. Mahalo. Mahalo. Members, do you have any questions for Commissioner Namuo? Okay. Um, I, guess, I guess I just have, have one. Um, you know, this is such a momentous and exciting year, being that we have vehicles moving in both houses to, to create a special fund for DHHL and allocating, you know, what is projected to be $600 million into that fund. Um, and so we're very hopeful um, that that will, will come to pass. Uh, what are your thoughts about, you know, this new development and those, those bills that are moving? And, and, and if it does get funded, what would you like to see done with those funds? I, I believe that we need to, the commissioners need to work with the department to assess where those funds need to go. And I also, I think that the legislature itself needs to give us input on where they think we should put those funds. But I do believe that we need to help the beneficiaries, period. So I think that, um, we should do big things. I believe that the department has been doing great work. I just think that we haven't done enough to show that we have been doing great work. So I thank the legislature for doing this, for even talking about um, considering $600 million. And I think that if the legislature decides that, which I think would be very good. I think that it should also have a say on where that should go. Mahalo, you know, in, in response to what you just said, I want to acknowledge the vice chair of this committee, who's also the chair of the Native Hawaiian Caucus of the legislature, um, our vice chair, Jared Kilhokalole, who had to, in very short amount of time, author um, that bill for the $600 million. And so we so appreciate the hard work that Senator Keohokalole put into this, you know, historic measure. Um, and I don't know if, if in response to Commissioner Nomuo, if Senator Keohokalole wanted to share anything that, you know, that you are hoping to see come out of that bill, if you want to ask about anything. I, I would hope that it passes. <laughs> and that uh, <laughs> hopefully if uh, uh, Commissioner, you're, uh, reappointment succeeds that we can do what you said, which is to make sure that the funds are are allocated appropriately and spent efficiently. So, yes, and I, um, Senator Kiohokaloli, I know uh, members that know you directly, so you will hear from them <laughs> <laughs> to help you. Well, to help you get that done. 
So you can count on our support. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Any further questions for Commissioner Namuo? Okay, then seeing none, then we're going to move on to the next measure. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Uh, we have GM 578, submitting for consideration and confirmation to the Island Burial Council, Island of Oahu, Gumrachal nominee Lynette Cruz for a term to expire June 30, 2023. And so first up, we have DLNR in support. Hi, um, good afternoon, uh, Senator uh, Shimabukuro and uh, Senator um, Jared Kehokalole, uh, as well as the other uh, three senators of your committee. I, I seem to have trouble um, starting my video. That's okay, and, we can hear you clearly. Okay, thank you. At any rate, um, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to testify. And um, my name is Hinano Rodriguez, and I am the History and Culture Branch Chief at the State Historic Preservation Div Division, Department of Land and Natural Resources. My testimony is that the department stands with its written support of all seven nominees listed to serve on the various island burial councils. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Rodriguez. Next, we have the Ahomoku Advisory Committee, Leimana De Mate, also in support. Thank you, Chair Shimabukuro and Vice Chair and members of the committee. We stand on our strong written testimony support. I'd like to just add a few things. Um, I've known Lynette Cruz for many, many years, and I can honestly and sincerely say she's always honest, always compassionate, always forgiving. And that is from personal experience because there have been times where we have had to agree to disagree, but there's always this common love for our people. So we stand in strong support of the night crews. Thank you. Thank you so much, Leimana. Um, then we've got written testimony. This is all in support. Um, Dr. Benton Pang, Kamana O. Mills, and Dylan Armstrong. Anyone else here for um, Lynette Cruz? Okay, members, any questions before we, we call her up? Okay, if not, Lynette Cruz, I, are, you, are you here? No, no, you did it right. You just gotta okay. take it. Okay. Start, stop, start no, no, the video. Yeah, right there. Right there. <laughs> Click that on. Is that Brian helping you? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's Brian helping me go to like, like what right, are we doing you. here? I just wanted to say thank you so much for confidence. Thank you, Leimana. It's been many, many years and I just appreciate that people have confidence that I will do the best that I can do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Lynette. Um, members, any questions? If not, um, you know, I just wanted to share that Lynette is my constituent and um, a dear friend of our family. Um, and, and does just, she's everywhere doing so much for not just the Waianae Coast, but all over the island cleanup. And, um, you know, I guess I just wanted to ask you, Lynette, you know, what inspires you? You know, I, I, I'm so, we're so eternally grateful for you for taking the helm um, and taking over from my stepfather to be the president of Malama Makua. Um, and then for the many, many and going all over the island, but what inspires you to give back so much um, to our community. I'm not going to lie. I am going to say this, that for a while we were floundering our organizations, the ones that I belong to. And at some point we realized that part of our healing really let, rests in the health of the land. Kind of simple. So our job really is to go and do as much as we can to heal Aina, to heal ourselves. A lot of that in, or it includes community work, basically. So we got to get more people to do that stuff, hence the organizing. Thank you, Miley. Oh, thank you. Well, you've gotten a lot of people involved. Okay, members, any other questions? Okay, hearing none, Lynette, thank you so much. We'll, we'll hold the vote at the end, um, but uh, thank you. But all supportive testimony, appreciate you. Okay, so next we're gonna go to our third measure, GM 579. Submitting for consideration and confirmation to the Island Barrow Council, Island of Oahu, nominee Benjamin Schaefer for a term to expire June 30, 2024. 
And so again, we have DLNR in support. Um, Mr. Rodriguez, did you just want me to just read that off? Because I know you already stated you support all nominees. I could do that. That is correct. We support okay. all nominees. Okay. And then um, we have the Ahamoku Advisory Committee, Lemana Damate, um, also in support. We stand on our written testimony support. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you so much. Um, again, again, we also support Kamana O. Mills and Dylan Armstrong. Anyone else here for um, Mr. Benjamin Schaefer's confirmation? Okay, members, any questions for the testifiers? Okay, seeing none. Um, Mr. Schaefer, over oh, there, I see you. Mr. Schaefer, hello, thank you for being here. Did you want to make a statement? Uh, I just wanna thank uh, Lynette for uh, inviting me to become a member of the Oahu Barrier Council. Uh, she was out here volunteering the group at the Kahana Chapel and at the Fish Pond. And, you know, it, it's healing when you work mm -hmm. on the land. It's healing for the land and it's healing for us. And on the burial side, I think it's even uh, more important because it brings us back to our roots. Not, not only for those that we are cleaning up, but for our ancestors and to remind us of what our Kuleana is to the land and to our own EV. Wonderful, thank you. Members, any questions? Um, if not, Mr. Schaefer, I, I just want to ask you, um, you know, there's a lot of controversy um, and a lot of questions that remain about what, what the future of Kahana Valley is in terms of, you know, the state stewardship, um, you know, and, and whether, how we want to go forward. Do you have any, any vision for that or any um, goals that you'd like to see happen for Kahana? Well, my, my grandfather has always said that Kahane is for those that want to malamo, want to work the land. It's not for everybody. And so those who do not want to do it really do not belong here. But those, there are a lot of people that want to, who belong on the land, who live, love the land and live the land. And those are the ones that actually belong in Kahane because then it can become successful. Thank you very much. Yeah, I hope that we can, um, you know, come to a resolution of that area. So, okay, mahalo. Any other questions, members? Okay, seeing none, thank you so much, Mr. Schaefer. We're gonna move on then. We have next um, GM580, submitting for consideration and confirmation to Island Barrow Council, Island of Oahu, Gubernatorial nominee, Brickwood Galateria, we all know, for a term to expire June 30, 2025. And like we said, DLNR is in support of this nominee. Again, Ahomoku Advisory Committee in support. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair, and members of the committee. We stand on my written testimony of strong support, but I wanted to just add in that Senate, that uh, Rickwood Galateria's wisdom comes from his kupuna. That's why he knows kupuna Ivi so well. And that foundation was probably was what helped him to write the original language for the Ahamoku bill and to introduce it when he was a senator. So we are in strong support of the Voluntarian. Thank you, Chair. Thanks so much, Lemana. Um, next, again, um, all in support, written testimony from Jesse Suki, Kamana O. Mills, Dylan Armstrong, Kendrick Farm. Anyone else here for Brickwood Galateria's confirmation? Okay, members, any questions for the testifiers? Okay, seeing none. And then, you know, Brickwood did call me just before this hearing and said, unfortunately, he cannot make it. He has a lot of um, family obligations, uh, his relatives and everything. So he regrets that he couldn't make it to the hearing, but he's very grateful for this nomination um, and for us holding this hearing today. So um, mahalo to Brickwood for, for his ongoing desire to serve. So then next we have GM 581, submitting for consideration and confirmation to the Island Barrow Council, Island of Oahu, gubernatorial nominee, Charles Airhorn, for a term to expire June 30, 2023. Um, again, DLNR in support. Um, we also have um, Kamanao Mills in support in writing. Um, I think that was it for the testifiers, 581. Anyone else here for Charles Airhorn's nomination? Okay, hearing none. Members, any questions for the testifiers? Okay, hearing none. Mr. Airhorn, I think, is here. 
you wanted to make a statement or just be open to questions? Not present, Chair. Oh, not present. Okay. Okay. Okay, in that case, then I guess we'll move on then to GM 582. Um, and this is submitting for consideration and confirmation to Island Barrow Council, Island of Kauai and Ni'ihau, gubernatorial nominee Barbara, Barbara Say for a term to expire June 30, 2025. Um, and so for 582, we have um, DLNR in support. Uh, anyone else here for GM 582? Okay, seeing none. Any questions, members, for, the, for DLNR? None. Okay, and then I do see um, Ms. Barbara Say on the on the line. Did you want to make a statement? Aloha. Aloha. I'm happy to be back on the burial council. I started it with La France many, many years ago. We had no burial council on the island. So it was a privilege for me when she asked if I would join her. And I'm happy to be back again after many years. Our island is very special. We are one of the older islands and we have a lot of work here. I'm happy to be involved. Mahalo. Mahalo, mahalo. Uh, members, any questions? Um, I guess I just yeah. had a question, um, Ms. Say. Uh, when it comes to burial issues on um, Ni'ihau, being that it's privately owned, um, are there different applications in terms of, you know, how environmental assessments are done, um, how permits are given out? I mean, is it a different kind of involvement that the burial council has on a privately owned island like Ni'ihau? Well, Leanna Robinson, she's our Ni'ihau person and she takes care. She knows how to do the old style. She's learned it from her kupuna. So we trust her. She's a great gal. Okay, wow. That's so interesting. I need to, I definitely need to go there someday. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions, members? Okay. Well seeing none, thank you so much, Ms. Say, for joining us and for your service. Okay. Aloha. Aloha. Okay, the next we have GM 582, submitting for consideration and confirmation to the Island Burial Council, Islands of Kauai and Ni'ihau, gubernatorial nominee, um, oh, I'm sorry, Island of Hawaii, gubernatorial nominee, um, Travern Apiki, for a term to expire June 30, 2025. Sorry, that's, this is GM 645. And we have DLNR in support. I think that's it. Anyone else here for GM 645? Okay, hearing none. Any questions for DLNR members? Okay, is Travern Apiki um, with us? Sure. Oh, not present. Okay. Okay, then I guess we'll go on to the last one, which is GM 646, submitting for consideration and confirmation to the Island Burial Council Islands of Maui and Lanai, gubernatorial nominee, Eaton Krupnik, for a term to expire June 30, 2026. And for this, we have DLNR in support. Um, and then we also have written testimony. We have Jennifer Mather in opposition, Foster Ampong support, and Kainoa Costco um, in support. Anyone else here for GM 646, Mr. Krupnik? Okay, hearing none. Members, any questions for DLNR? Okay, hearing none. I do see Mr. Krupnik here. Mahalo. I have a question. Mahalo, thank you for being here. Um, would you like to make a statement or do you just want to have questions? Let me, okay, I just unmuted myself. Perfect. Um, yeah. I just wanted yeah. to thank, uh, thank you guys for having me and just for the nomination. I, I was very shocked, you know, but um, at the same time, everything happens for a reason. You know, I, I, I really do feel that the path that I'm, I, I am on and have, you know, been able to learn so much throughout these, these years of my life has brought me here for a reason. And I, I'm very excited. I, I feel very honored to even be in the presence of everyone here and um, just excited to learn more and see where it goes as well, so. Okay, thank you. Um, I, I guess just wanted to ask you, you know, Jennifer Mather opposition, do you know her or why she might have concerns? 
Jennifer Mathers, I it doesn't ring a bell to me. Okay, not sure what what that is about. Um, and I guess I, just, I guess a similar question I had for Ms. Say. I mean, being that Lanai, I believe, is privately owned, I think, right? Um, so, what kind of relationship do you have with the owner, um, and how do you go about, you know, bringing to their attention any kind of concerns that the the state may have in terms of burials and EV? Are you asking me? me? Uh, yes, yes, for Mr. Krupnik. Yeah. Oh, for, for Lanai. Yes. The, uh, because it's privately owned? Yeah. So when you do, when there are concerns about EV, what's the process? Uh, is there a point person um, among the you know, among the owner that's, that's, that he's designated that you contact if there's concerns about EV? I mean, I don't work for that owner or know him personally. Um, mm -hmm. this would be my first term. So I would definitely go through protocol of, uh, who, who is in charge, you know, to like actually learn that process. Um, I would hope that I, um, I would be able to actually be involved in that and, and learn more of that because yeah, I mean, privately owned islands in Hawaii is, it's, it's very new to us in a way. And I think, so we should be involved in, in, um, those conversations, you know, I have uh, a lot of family history on Lanai, um, my great great grandfather, he he grew up there. Uh, he had many children over there. You know, my grandma, she was um, born over there as well. So, you know, um, the process. I would just I would ask um, the council, and I would hope that I would be involved in that conversation to like learn how the process is as well. You know, that well, that's terrific that you have a family history there. So you also have the resources of your own um, heritage. Yes. to go through yeah. in terms of the, you know, the mm -hmm. history of that island. So that's perfect. Very yes. good. Members, any other questions for the nominee? Uh, Chair? Uh, yes, Senator Yuhara? Uh, yes, I had a number of questions. Um, I, in your response to the chair's questions, you mentioned that a possible conflict of interest would be your employment. You work for West Maui Construction, and I believe that's the basis for the uh, uh, solo opposition to your nomination? Uh, so um, the, oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. What, what, what is your role in West Maui Construction? I just started there. I, I'm a project engineer um, for a, a department of that construction company. But um, I guess, you know, uh, me being an employer, um, employee, um, I would really just recluse myself on um, just step out of the room, I guess, you know, I, I wouldn't have much say because I am employed by them. I wouldn't want a conflict of interest if anything does come up, but I would hope that I could actually um, still be involved in conversations. You know, it, it, you know, I, I don't understand why like employers, depending who you're employed by, you know, would, would really affect it. You know, I'm definitely not um, somebody to be persuaded in um, out of what I believe, you know, so. Um, I guess I, I just wrote that because uh, I, I thought that me being employed by uh, a construction company, that would be like the only conflict of interest really to that question. So are you familiar with the uh, principle of conflict of interest? Because you indicated that you don't, you don't know how, how that could be a conflict. And by the way, if once you recuse yourself, you cannot participate in any conversation. Okay, yeah. Just so you know. Now, um, I understand that West Maui Construction is a subsidiary of West Maui Land Development, West Maui Land Company. Uh, that I, I don't know. I, I literally just started. It's probably like my second week there. Uh, I suggest you check it out because you're in the same office as they are. Uh, and it's a land development company. And they develop a lot of projects on Maui. Okay. Um, and I've been trying to get more information about West Maui Construction. It's the website said it's just a private. It's a, it's only you have to get a password to get in. So I, it's it's limited. But I the principles are uh, overlapping, and so um, so you may have to you recuse. So it's it's also perception uh, public trust. So that if if um, in the business you know it, it what you do could negatively impact your employer or your employer's uh, industry colleagues or parent company, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and um, 
you know, they, they I, I hope they would respect you, but economically it's, it could make a difference um, uh, as to whether it's gonna cost them more to um, move some burial sites or not. Um, so I, I, I suggest you check it out. Um, is this uh, like a future question, like a question that could happen or is happening? Well, it may have happened already um, I, in the past. I haven't, I haven't like had over my head. That's why I, I yeah, literally, so it, I'm be, like a little pawn in the company. Like, I don't really know anything of what's going on. So honestly, like there are probably other people that maybe you could reach out to that could answer your questions, but. Well, I'm no, I'm just trying like, to say it's. Green shirt guy. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not opposing your uh, confirmation. All I would like to just get some, you know, I have some um, uh, fuller understanding of yeah. the uh, public duty you're taking on, uh, whereas your employment uh, is uh, private duty, private interest. Uh, and and when, you, when you walk into the room of the burial council, you leave your private interests aside, which I understand, I, I believe you can do that. Uh, and... Um, and act independently of your, mm -hmm. your you know, and I, sometimes it's hard to do, um, but I'm just, uh, just wanted to encourage you to learn about um, perceptions of conflict of interest and actual conflict of interest. Um, and and uh, we need people like yourself and, and to, to serve on these councils. So I, I appreciate you stepping up. Thank you very much. I, I definitely will um, take those notes into consideration. I, I will definitely learn that. I, I appreciate your input too. And you know, anything, any more input that you could give me or anybody else, I, I, I take that to heart and I, I definitely will look that up and read more about it too. So I appreciate it. What I, maybe one more thing, uh, what mm -hmm. I, this is my, my best practice. If I were yeah. you, what I would do and you don't, you can decide for yourself is I would, I would speak to the principals of your company, you know, all, all the way up to the top and even the, the, the land company and let them know that you are gonna serve on this and that you're requesting the freedom to act independently of them so that they don't come at, they don't um, uh, call you later on and hint. A lot of it is hinting, you know, the little, you can tell by their, their attitude of, of how they would rather you act. Uh, and so um, uh, a lot of, what I would do would be to get your permission up front so they don't do that so that later on they come back and they hint at you or invite you to dinner and want you to you know um, consider the the gravity of the, the decision uh, you'll know that you can remind them that they already gave you permission to act uh, freely uh, on your own behalf um, and um, so anyway that that's that's just maybe I'll just let it sit there and you can just think about it So thank thank you. you so much, Senator Yuhar. It's very important to, uh, to bring that out. Um, uh, any other questions, members, or, or concerned? Okay. Oh, oh yes, Senator Ocasio. I just wanted to follow up on Senator Yuhar's thoughts and um, uh, just really appreciate you for, for stepping up and being, being uh, available for this responsibility. It's really important um, that we have a lot of um, viewpoints and in other words, in lack of other words, just regular people in positions of leadership and also decision making and civics and engagement within our, our issues and our communities. Um, so it's really important, but I also do want to say that, um, again, just echoing the, um, the appearance of, of potential conflicts um, and, and the trust in the community is really important. So um, definitely want to keep that in mind because a lot of things get tricky. Mahalo. Chair, uh, I had another question, if I may. Of course, Senator Yuhar, go ahead. Um, uh, Ethan, have you uh, informed your um, the the company president that you are uh, applying and and seeking confirmation on this on this position? Yes, I have. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Any other questions, members? Okay. Okay. Seeing none, um, you know, I, I, I'm ready to um, just recommend for all of these that, that we, uh, my recommendation is going to be that we advise and consent to all of these GMs and to have an open discussion at this time with members. If anybody has any questions or concerns, 
Um, do you want to say about any of these GMs before we take the vote? Anyone? Oh, um, Senator Costa, did you want to say anything? I have reservations on one. Okay. Anybody else want to say any, uh, have any comments, concerns, questions? I'm just going to note my reservations on one of the nominations. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, if not, um, Vice Chair, if you could take the vote. I, I guess we could. I guess we could do it one at a time. Yeah, we we'll do it one at a time. And so, starting with um, GM 577, this is for Pauline Namuo's confirmation to the Hawaiian Homes Commission. Um, recommendation is to um, advise and consent. And Chair votes aye. Chair Voltai, Vice Chair Voltai, Senator Acasio. Aye. Senator Ihara. Aye. Senator Favela is excused. Recommendation adopted. Thank you for GM 578. This is recommending um, Lynette Cruz to the Island Barrel Council. Recommendation is to advise and consent and Chair Voltai. Uh, Chair Voltai, Vice Chair Voltai, Senator Acasio. Aye. Senator Ihara. Aye. Senator Favela's excused recommendation adopted. Thank you. GM 579, this is recommending um, Benjamin Schaefer to the Island Burial Council for Island of Oahu. Our recommendation is to advise and consent and chair votes aye. Uh, chair votes aye, with four members present, are there any reservations or opposition? Seeing none, chair recommendation adopted. Thank you. GM 580, this is recommending for the Island Burial Council, Brickwood Galateria. Recommendation is to advise and consent. Uh, Chair Votai. Chair Votai, with four members present, any reservations or no votes? Recommendation adopted. Thank you. GM 581, this is for Island Burial Council, uh, Oahu, nominee Charles Airhorn. Um, recommendation is to advise and consent and chair votes aye. Members chair votes aye with four members present. Are there any reservations or no votes? Seeing none, recommendation adopted. Thank you. GM um, 582. This is for the Island Barrel Council for Kauai and Ni'ihau. Um, Barbara Say. Um, recommendation is to advise and consent and chair votes aye. Chair votes aye with four members present. Are there any reservations or no votes? Recommendation adopted. Okay, GM 645. This is for Island Burial Council, Island of Hawaii. Um, nominee Traver, Traven Apiki. Um, recommendation to advise and consent and chair votes aye. Chair votes aye with four members present. Are there any reservations or no votes? Recommendation adopted. And finally, GM 646. This is for Island Burial Council, Islands of Maui and Lanai, um, nominee Eaton Krupnik. And recommendation is to advise and consent and chair votes aye. Chair votes aye, with four members present, are there any reservations or no votes? I vote, uh, Senator Yahari here, I vote aye with reservations. So noted. So reservations. So noted, chair recommendation adopted. Okay, thanks so much members, we are adjourned.